the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle may finally be close to being solved. Experts have theorized that the area's high concentration of magnetite could be causing interference with the Earth's magnetic field, leading to weather anomalies, dangerous algae growth, and problems with navigation. If that's the case, then the issue lies much deeper than the ocean floor. It lies at the very core of our planet. And according to geophysics professor Dr. Justin Revenaugh, a potentially catastrophic magnetic shift is happening there right now. My interest in the Earth's magnetic field began when I was in college. Because of a big solar storm, the northern lights moved further down from the poles than usual. And I thought it was amazing. And as a result, I've kept tabs on the magnetic field through the rest of my life. And what it's doing right now is unusual. What it's doing is moving. And it might be taking the Bermuda Triangle right along with it. So here we're looking down on the north pole of the planet. Geographic north lies right there. And shown in the colored dots are the position of magnetic north over time. We start down here in 1900, moving steadily northward slowly until about 1990, at which point it started moving much more quickly. At the present day, it's moving at a rate of 35 miles per year to the north and west. And if that motion continues, it'll cross the Arctic Ocean and work its way into Russia. The question is, if the Bermuda Triangle features a deadly magnetic anomaly, how might it be impacted by the planet's magnetic shift? The average person has no idea that magnetic north is moving. Why should they? You can't see it, you don't feel it, but it affects the navigation of ships and airplanes. It's a problem that sounds a lot like what could be happening in the Bermuda Triangle, except now it's beginning to occur on a global scale. These changes are requiring us to update maps and software to accommodate the shifts in the poles that are necessary to make sure that GPS and compass-based navigation continues to be accurate. But according to Dr. Revenaugh, there could be even greater consequences for life on Earth. The Earth's magnetic field acts like a force field. If you think about the Star Trek USS Enterprise, when they would be shot by lasers and photon weapons would be deflected away from the spacecraft. Star Trek didn't pull this out of thin air. Our planet's magnetic field is protecting us from space weather, solar radiation, solar winds. If they reach the Earth in full numbers, they could shut down electrical grids, gas and oil pipelines, cellular and satellite communication, television, aircraft flights, and potentially other things that we haven't even thought about. It won't happen overnight, but we are seeing signs that it could happen rather soon. Scholars like Dr. Revenaugh are currently trying to identify all of the issues that a magnetic shift could cause. After that, they'll still need to convince governments, private companies, and engineers to shore up our infrastructure before it's too late. As for the Bermuda Triangle, if it is moving northwest as we proposed, thankfully, it remains an isolated area, just 500,000 square miles on the surface of a nearly 200 million square mile planet. But if we don't plan for the future, the entire world may one day become a Bermuda Triangle, a place where safe navigation of the seas and skies can no longer be possible. The search continues.